What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have like and sub, and let's get into this. Um, we got a little bit more from Endymion and his source inside of uh, Ubisoft. And I'm sorry, now I can't hear the word source without hearing uh, Irwin and I. Du -du 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 -du. I got sources. Do you have a source? My source tells me that no shit, Sherlock. Uh, but no, here we go. Uh, Ubisoft allegedly dreading the release of its upcoming Assassin's Creed hex after it was rumored to be the gayest Assassin's Creed yet. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, my uh, source is telling me that the next game is going to be filled of uh, the message. Absolutely, and it's going to be made for... For a modern gaming audience. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So, allegedly, allegedly, and this is, of course, Endymion source saying it was the gayest, is this the gayest Assassin's Creed ever? I'm Mark from Variety. Uh, don't sue me, Chris. Uh, I do believe it is the... Uh, in fact, this is exactly what it's going to be. Put a chicken in it, make her gay! Put a chicken in it, make her name it gay! But we're going to set it during the Salem Witch Trials. And, of course, your assassin will be a female protagonist of dubious sexuality. Nebulous sexuality? I've heard it both ways. Either way, probably going to be light-skinned black girl, Kimball Air Special, even in Salem Witch Trials. I'm sure. Let's see. Uh, I was told that the next Assassin's Creed, which is being called Hex. Now, we've heard this, but this is just if you didn't know. Well, first, if you wanted to know what's going on at Ubisoft. Uh, that's a lot of damage. How about a little more? And the little more would be that the next Assassin's Creed game is, of course, codenamed Hex, set during the Salem Witch Trials, internally claimed to be the gayest Assassin's Creed yet. And they probably said it like that was a really good thing. Um, told that it only has a single female protagonist, and it's also the most fantastical Assassin's Creed yet, he continued. There will be a lot of mysticism, and we'll also have, as they said, very striking visuals. I don't know if that means an entirely different art style or anything, but this is what I was told. We talked a little bit uh, on the stream earlier uh, and that a lot of uh, historians now think that the Salem witch trials were at least sparked off in part due to an ergot inf infestation of the wheat. And so basically people were tripping balls as if taking mushrooms and, or, you know, some other hallucinogen LSD. And then of course, other people who just capitalized it. I am sure I would bet my bottom dollar that the main character in this is of course going to be a young girl and the cause of all the witchcraft will instead be an Isu artifact and she'll be saved by the assassins and then have to kill all the white, white patriarchal men that put her up there on uh, on the burning stake. Uh, but that's just my guess. That's just my guess. He says, I was told it will still be an open world action game like the other ones, but from what I've been told, this is the biggest departure yet for the series. My sources claim that Hex is very, very female power oriented we are talking lots of lesbian relationships and female characters it has witch covens and apparently very little masculine presence within the game witch covens you say Push. yeah but again witches are all the rage of course we've seen how popular agatha and acolyte and why not do this one yes yes uh, my sources, my sources, what do your sources tell me? His sources say that they believe that the game will be scaled down in the future and made into a liberation-esque game instead of the mainline uh, mainline timeline. Uh, one would hope, uh, or at least a mainline title, one of the smaller pitch off, like a Miles Morales to a full-on Spider-Man. So you can see here internally being told that the developers behind Hex joke that the game will indeed piss off the fan base, but they wanted to make it anyway. I assume because the game is devoid of male characters, besides, of course, the ones you probably kill or hunt. Like I said, they'll be straight and white. Uh, and it's going to have borderline magic, which will be all the hex. So uh, it says, uh, the same source has provided new information. So forgive me if you knew all that, but you got to reframe everything. Uh, they are calling the reaction to the game's plot and setting to be not what players want from this franchise. No sh they're calling the reaction to the game's plot and setting to be not what players want from the franchise. He continued, I'm told that Ubisoft is contemplating reducing resources for this Hex game because they were originally considering it to be the next mainline title in the Assassin's Creed franchise. So before it was just a supposition. Now he's saying definitely they're reduce, reducing resources. There's already four years of dev time. Oh. If you want to know where all the money goes, there's already four years of dev time in this game already with another two at least left before it's six years for their lesbian witch game uh, before it's finished. Hence why I said it would likely come out in 2026. They, this is the problem with if there is any course correction whatsoever. 
Look how long it's going to take before we even see it. 2026. And that's not a course correction. That's just them reducing it. Um, they are internally allegedly very angry that people are not enjoying the female centric push for the game and the others. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder what it could be. Could it be that maybe they pushed the message might too far? This is the same thing we're seeing with Ghost of Yote. Uh, and there are discussions that the game might be uh, gutted in order to change it to make it more commercially viable, if you will. But I doubt anything they can do to this game will fix much of anything yeah not if it's already four years in and then this just goes on to talk about how this has been announced as we can see years ago back in 2022 with another two years on the way um i i love the assassin creed games but at this point with what they've done to it um i don't care i don't know let you let me know if you care either way please by all means make sure to like share and sub if you have done that thank you if you're gonna do that thank you well Bye.